this is Eric with Chlorine King Pool Service here in Pinellas County, Florida. Just want to give you a quick review and demonstration of the new SGS Instruments Salt TDS and Temperature Meter. Why I chose this one is because it never needs calibration, so you never have to wonder, oh boy, did I just calibrate this? Is, it accurate? is the reading accurate or anything like that? A couple tips about using this. I always like to put the probe in the water before I turn the unit on. However, I can't do that one-handed, so I wouldn't recommend doing that. You want to submerge this probe. 100% under the water, the black part, <clears throat> and also don't wiggle the wand around or else you'll get different readings which I'll demonstrate here in a minute. So let's go ahead and turn this on. So all you do is you just hit the power switch. It defaults to the salt reading. So now you go ahead, put the probe in, submerge it completely, and there's the salt reading. So it's about 4200, 4300 parts per million. I'm going to go ahead and hit the mode button, it goes to TDS, submerge the probe. Now we're at 5100 parts per million. And then hit it again to go to temperature. And we're about 64 degrees here. So let's go back to salt. And then what I'll show you is alright, so right now it's vertically set. Now if you move it around, get different readings now granted they're not much but you're trying to be accurate as possible you want to keep it vertically submerged to the correct depth so that's it now a little bit about salt pools this client here is a new client um, I took them over to uh, two weeks ago and the, the panel is saying high salt so the first thing I did was clean the salt cell which generally you clean it when it says low salt because what that means usually is there's high calcium buildup on the plates but I went ahead and cleaned it anyways to do due diligence and then the cell panel said really high salt so I put this in the water and confirmed it was the 4500 parts per million of salt so what this pool needs is a partial drain <clears throat> to dilute the salt and as a general rule of thumb, you want uh, every inch drain is about 100 parts per billion of salt. So based off this, we want about 18 inches or so uh, to get it back on the lower acceptable range. And if need be, I'll add a little salt. Not scientific, but a, definitely a good educated uh, rule of thumb to get the correct uh, salt based off draining your water. So that's it. Uh, and also remember, the salt cells generally take about a day to recalibrate the correct level of salt. And then also, another tip is that salt cells don't function correctly, consistently in colder water. So that's where another uh, point that where this meter comes in very handily is because it's not affected by water temperature or anything like that. So you can get a true reading of your pool water without uh, going based off the salt cell because oftentimes it gets cold and starts reading low salt. You start dumping in all the salt. And then when the season comes around, all of a sudden you got five, six, seven thousand parts per million of salt, and your salt cells might not work, and you're wondering why. So, if you have any questions or anything like that, please give us a call or visit chlorinekingpools.com. Have a great day, everyone.